video on how you can perfect your voice entries using the Fibonacci tool. And before we go any further, you slept at least last night, I need you to subscribe. Oh, and let's not forget, comment and like this video because it's gonna be really bad. Think about the Fibonacci as the holy grail to your perfect entries. It's gonna help you to understand where to enter the market, where to exit the market, and where to place your stop loss to prevent any big losses. At the same time, the Fibonacci is also to help you manage your trade when either in a loss or in a profit and allowing you to have a greater risk to reward ratio which will help you to be more profitable in the long run even though you have sometimes losses. And with that being said, you need to understand there's a certain settings you need to have on your Fibonacci so that you can get that perfect entries. Firstly, for those who doesn't know where to fetch the Fibonacci, all you gotta go is over here, click on the Fibonacci and then Select it on the chart, right? Once you do that, click on the settings and then from there, make it exactly like these over here, exactly like this. And um, tick off all the boxes as well. Tick off that, tick off, tick off. And please, please do tick um, on. Please select these boxes on and then at the bottom, exactly like mine. Okay, guys? So now you guys have the settings of the Fibonacci. Again, I'm going to go over it one more time. You guys can see the Fibonacci settings. Uh, please do make it exactly like mine. Pause this video and journal down these things, okay? Now that you guys know the settings of the Fibonacci, you need to know how to use the Fibonacci. Let's jump over and get deeper into how to use this Fibonacci. First of all, you need to understand the structure. That's the most important thing is understanding structure. If you don't understand the structure in the market, you will not be able to know where to pull the Fibonacci out. As you can see, I'm drawing an uptrend right now. And on the top right here is called higher highs, higher high, and higher high. At the bottom, higher low, higher low, higher low. Now you need to know that we buy at higher lows and we sell at way lower highs. So let's draw that down thing for us. Okay, so again guys, this is what we call a downtrend and downtrend lower high, lower high, lower high, lower low, lower low, lower low. This is probably things that you guys know about, but very important because you need to understand how to use market structure in order to use a Fibonacci in the right manner. Now, with that being said guys, let's, let's use the Fibonacci, okay? Understand it, in order to use a Fibonacci, you need to pull it in a buying format, in the uptrend, and a selling format in a downtrend, okay? So in the uptrend, it goes from the recent higher low all up to the recent high high, and you pull it to the side, and right over here is where you're gonna enter at the 61, and take profit will be at the 60, uh, minus 61, okay? I'll repeat this for you guys. So let's just go over this one more time, okay? In a downtrend, let's do a downtrend. Lower low, lower high, lower low, and now lower high. We want to probably look to sell, okay? And now we pull the Fibonacci from the recent lower high all the way down to the recent lower low and pull it to the side. And at the 61% is where we want to sell off lower to the minus 61%. So we do put stop losses, okay? I understand that this is how we use a stop losses is that the 0%, the 100% on top right here, the 100% on top right here is going to be your stop losses. Your take profit will be all the way down right here. That will be your take profit. Your entry will be when it reaches the minus 61%. And the first take profit is this one here, the second take profit and the third take profit. Now, this minus 78%, this will be in red. Reason why it will help you to understand um, how do you say if the market wants to break above this, it possibly can change trends. Okay, so remember this that this will help you to understand if market breaks above this, it might change trends. So, with that being said, let's go over the market now. Okay, let's do okay. With that being said, let's do another example. So, we have uptrend high, 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 low, high, 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 low, high, 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 low. Now, you can see the markets in the uptrend and you see the market starts going higher. Now you're like, okay, cool, the market left, let's see the market come back a little lower. Now you wanna get involved. How are you get involved? From the low to the high like that, 
and when the market comes back to touch the 61%, that is when you get involved for a buy. Okay, so you look like this. Entry there, stop less at 100%, take profit at the minus 61%, giving us a great risk ratio. That is how we use the Fibonacci, okay? In a downturn, it would look like something like this. Let me show you guys. Okay, let's do it. In a downturn, this is how we do. Lower low, low high. Lower low, low high. Lower low, and now we're going to involve something around here, okay? This is the market's coming a little up, and all you're going to do is pull it from the recent lower high to the lower low, like that. Click on the Fibonacci, click on the high to the low, and pull it to the side. And exactly when the mark comes back up to 61%, that is when you're gonna get involved for a sell. Click on the short position, click it on here, place your, your stop loss at 100% and move it all the way down to the minus 61%. And that will be your take profit. You will be hoping for the mark to continue going lower. Okay. Now that you guys know how to use the Fibonacci tool to get that perfect entries, let's go over again to the chart to do some examples perfect it even more further. As there's a saying, practice makes perfect. A very important part for this is to be in a trend. If you're not in a trend, you won't be able to understand. So let's just do this. Okay, guys? So you guys can see that we have a nice structure going. Okay? The market's going. And let, as you can see right here, here was a higher low, but here's now a low as well, right? And you can see here's a higher top right here. So what we're going to do is pull this in a from the high to the low like that and right over here on the 61% when the mark comes back here you want to be looking for a sell lower so you wait patiently there right at that point right right at the point here when the mark hits there all you gotta do is place that sell like that stop loss right on top there and you want to take a take profit to the low there guys unless you should be more this about the trade that you're going to for Patience is what's required when this happens, as you guys can see. The market went all the way up and lower, came back, and there we go, market comes all the way back lower. It's about being very patient with the trades. Understand there'll be times where the market might go just on to, only till this area here, and then go all the way back higher, but it's your duty to ensure that when you're in this trade that you use, uh, um, how, uh, you use a method to manage your trade, guys, you see? So very important thing, the market will do its thing, but your duty is when it reaches these levels to manage your trade correctly, picking your stop loss over entry and all those nitty gritties that you do, okay guys? Now, let's do a little more examples. Okay, let's do a few examples for you guys. Look at here's a nice selling method one. You guys can see that beautiful low over there, guys. Beautiful. Let's do this. There's a high there, there's a low here. All you have to do is put the problem like that from the high to the low. And on the 61% is when you can evolve for sell. Right over here. The stop loss will be at the top right there. You think I'll put the bit all the way lower. So that's minus 61% for sell. Okay guys, and patience, you wait for the market to come in. And when the market touches it, you in for sell, you press the sell in the market. Okay, and you patient wait and there, you take profit was hit successfully. Uh, you can see there's a couple more as we go guys, we'll see there's more and more and more. Uh, I'm looking for a buy one for you guys, so you guys can see how a buy one looks for you. Okay guys, but you need to be have a buy market in order to take one. Here's another selling method one, you guys can see here. It's about patience guys. Uh, from the high right here all the way down to the low and move it to the side. On the 60% is where you need to sell and patiently you wait for that take profit to be hit guys. It's about being patient with your market in order to get that trade. Not all trades are perfect guys, but understand it's about having that good risk management with any strategy is important. Um, here we go. Here's a beautiful example, low to the high over there. And there we can see there was an entry right over here. And there you go, take off the being hit over there. Now with that being said guys, it's that easy. Okay, it is that easy. Perfect perfect entries 
over there, guys. Once again, thank you for watching this video. And again, I shouldn't phrase that the Fibonacci tool is a powerful tool to perfect your entries. If you have any questions regarding to what I taught you guys, please use the comments down below in the section comment there so we can interact. And again, if you're not subscribed, I need you to subscribe so that can bring you good luck to your training journey. Once again, your mentor should Dr. Samai, signing out. Cheers. Oh yeah, bye.